Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm ObscureAngelBT and for today what I have here is Tekken 7 running on my GT 740M which is similar to the GT 825M or the GT 920M. So Tekken 7 was developed by Bandai Namco and it's using Unreal Engine 4. So the last game that we tried with Unreal Engine 4 it was Rhyme and it was running horribly, so it was running with uh, native resolution, all the settings on minimum and 50% uh, of resolution scaling with, which make the game a lot pixelated so let me show you the settings that we end up playing Tekken 7 so <laughs> the exactly same thing, so native resolution, 50% resolution scaling and all the settings on the minimum the only thing that I might suggest you that you can raise without uh, too much noticeable impact on the frame rate is the textures although you also have this thing which is called dynamic adjustment um, but Dynamco claims that it adjusts the graphics on fly. I didn't try it out, but I suppose that it might work great. And it adjusts the target 60 FPS. Because, yes, Tekken 7, just like Street Fighter 5, uh, only runs at 60 FPS. I mean, uh, it runs hard lock to 60 FPS. So if you get less than 60, FP, than 60 FPS, what it's going to happen is the game will just run in slow motion and since I'm recording with OBS which is maybe the most lightweight software that I did found out um, to record even recording with OBS in this game it's causing me like losing 10 FPS comparing to without recording so I end up getting like uh, 45 FPS, 46, 47 so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to play a little bit of the train session so why the hell I'm training this is a video where I'm supposed to combat and um, lose or win so I'm doing this because I want to show the most demanding map of the game this is uh, Brimstone and Fire, yes it's the name Brimstone and Fire for me it's the most demanding uh, map of the game and as you can see recording with OBS what I get is 45 FPS but it, without recording you can um, add like 10 FPS to the counter I just want to say that uh, so I, I, I'm just training just to show you this map so I'm going to switch uh, right away just to arcade mode where I can fight, win or lose that will be much more interesting anyway if you want to check the results without recording it's on the description of the video there is also a detailed um, benchmark it's going to open an excel file uh, with all the details about this benchmark you can find all this stuff on the description of the video okay and also if you skip a little bit ahead on the video you will have um, me discussing a little bit of the the frame rates and the performance and the stuff if you want to support the channel, well, there is a lot of links on the description too. Patreon, Paypal, Kingwin, you can support the channel in many ways. So I'm counting with your help to continue to, do, to deliver uh, benchmarks like this one and many others. So guys, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. KO. Final round. Fight! <laughs> Round one. Fight. <laughs> K. 
KO. <sighs> Round two. Fight. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. <laughs> Unrelenting night. Uh -huh. Round one. Fight. Sick dark way. <laughs> KO. <laughs> Round two. Fight. <laughs> Cute, Tucker. Hmm. Round one. Fight. <laughs> KO Round two Fight <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the performance section of the video. So, I have here two results uh, for the two most demanding maps of the game. Uh, the first one is Brimstone and Fire, which was that map that you saw me playing on the trade mode. So, I got a minimum of 53 FPS, a 1% low of 54. So, the game is consistent after all. And an average of 59, so if you look to the graphic, you can see that the game drops from the 60 FPS just a little bit. But keep in mind that this map is one of the most demanding maps of the game. So if you play any other map, I'm pretty sure that you are going to get 60 FPS most of the time. So the game is playable, despite how bad the graphics will look, okay? So for the Abandoned Temple, which was a map that I didn't show to you, on this laptop video, although it's present on the desktop video, it's another very demanding map. 
and as you can see it's a little bit more playable with a minimum of 56, 1% low of uh, 57, average of 60 and maximum of 61, well, that 61 is a little bit of um, a bad capture from fraps, okay? But if you look to the graph you better we see the frame rate going down from 60 and when it does it's just a little bit. So completely playable, this was for me the two most demanding maps, so all the other maps might be just running at 60 with no drops, okay, so you might want to try to raise a little bit the texture quality, uh, but uh, I don't think that it's going to make too much of a difference. As for the consistency, only 12% of the frames was lower than 60 FPS's, this is a great result, so it means that we kind of achieve the objective of playing the game consistently. I mean, Xbox uh, One doesn't play at 60 FPS all the time too, that is a problem too with the performance of the game on the Xbox. So regarding many other stuff, with these settings the VRAM usage of the game was 1GB, so it means that you can raise the textures, you have space on the VRAM for that, although it might impact a little bit the performance, but that's one of the things that I suggest you to for you to try out. The RAM usage was around 4.2GB of RAM, but keep in mind that I use my laptop for work, so I have more processes in the background than usually you guys have, so it means more RAM consumption. So maybe this game can be run at, uh, with, I mean, 4GB of RAM, but I'm not 100% sure. So the minimum requirements of the game, what it says is uh, eventually that you need 6 gigabytes of RAM, so I'm not 100% sure about it, but yes, 6 gigabytes of RAM will be enough and it's perfectly safe. CP usage was around 50 to 80 percent, and GP usage was our limited factor, so this CPU was enough to power up the 60 FPS of the game. Good news. So that's all that I want to talk about um, about Hack and Seven. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you care about the channel, this channel, and you care about the future of this channel and you want more specific games like online games to be benchmarked uh, on this channel, don't forget to support the channel via Patreon. If you don't have the money for a monthly subscription, you can donate via PayPal. If you don't have the money to donate but you buy games on Kingwin, you can use the link on the, on the description. If you buy games through that link, it's not going to be cheaper or expensive for you, it's going to be the exact same price. But I receive a small cut from the money that you wasted, that might help the channel, okay? So consider that. Guys, thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.